Because I believe you can't clean up something you don't know the size of. I've heard estimations ranging from several hundred thousand tons all the way to a hundred million tons. But I knew we really needed a better estimate, some, some scientific data. So then I simply contacted some professors from the universities Delft, Utrecht and Hawaii, who then actually helped us with determining how much plastic there is in the top layers of the gyres. The result? A whopping 7.25 million tons of extractable plastic in 2020. That's the weight of a thousand Eiffel Towers floating in the gyres. Now, researcher and in fact discoverer of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, Charles Moore, estimates it would take 79,000 years to remediate that. However, I believe the Great Pacific Garbage Patch can completely clean itself in just five years. Why move through the oceans if the oceans can move through you? By fixing the ships to the seabed and letting the rotating currents do their work, vast amounts of funds, manpower and emissions will be saved. The platforms will, of course, be completely self-supportive, receiving their energy from the sun, currents and waves. And inspired by my diving at the Azores, it now actually seems that the best shape for these platforms is that of a manta ray. Let's make a comparison, OK? These are the beaches of Hong Kong earlier this year, the largest plastic spill in history, and this is their source just six containers. How much could we get out? Over 55 of these containers per day. Um, not only is plastic directly responsible for over a billion US dollars in vessel damages a year, no, the awesome surprise for me was that if we'd sell the plastics retrieved from the five gyres, we'd make over 500 million US dollars. And this is, in fact, more than the plan would cost to execute. We'd make over... We'd make